go anywhere. That's coming right up. Dave? Thanks, honey, is what we're doing next. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Isn't that great? I love it. How are you doing, honey, is what's coming up next. Okay. All right, we'll go into thanks, Robin. See you, Kelly. That's great. That's right, folks. Honey, we're talking about, now this is the Calgary Area Beekeepers, Beekeepers Club. Club. Association. Yes. So you guys yes. hang out, and, and tell me, you, we were talking earlier, we are looking at bees. What do we got going here? Okay, what we're doing is we're going to show you how the bees actually make the honey. We talked a little bit about the bees before, but this yeah. is what they, this is the final product. Okay. The bees are kept in wooden boxes that kind of stack up. They used to be kept in, in kind of straw skeps like here, this. Here, I'll show this so we can see it. Oh, sorry, this honey. Is, this is a little too awkward these days for, for beekeepers to work with. So we work but this with is really boxes. what they used to use. This here is in the olden days. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So but the bees say. used to fly in and out, they're filled up with honey, then you dig it out with a knife. This is a lot easier what we're going to oh, cool. do today. Right. We put boxes like this on top of the hive, so that on the bottom of the hive is where the, the bees live, the, the queen's down there, the brood's down there, the pollen's down, the honey's on the top. That's the a residential district at the bottom. Yeah, yep. and the storage area is in the top, so we put boxes like this on to start out, fill the weight of this, it's kind of light. Kind of light. So there's nothing there. And, and you guys, got, what is that? It's, it's just, we call it foundation, it's plain beeswax, and it has a little pattern on it so the bees can start making comb. When they make the comb, now feel the weight of this, right. and in a matter of about a week, wow. the bees can go from this, which has nothing on it, to that, which is, you know, got quite a lot of honey there. It's so, about four so pounds I'm, of honey. I'm, so this one here, so this here, the comb that's built out, they did that. They did that themselves. This just started yep. flat, yep. and they this built that out, and then fill it with honey. Right, and then to harvest it. This is the neat trick. Much easier than the old-fashioned skep. We just pop these things open. Just pop it open. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see here now, they didn't have a chance to finish the wax that's hidden kind of inside of here, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's because it was behind the plastic. But all we need to do now, can you do this? Sure. You want to pull some of these Erica. out? Just, just show them how you clean them up and trim them. Right. So yeah, you've done the, tell us what you're doing here, Erica. You just take your thumb or finger or whatever and... Usually a sterilized knife. Yeah. Yeah. Or a sterilized finger. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use my... Can I... I'm going to imitate what you're doing. So yeah, yeah. yeah, just scrape off the wax. So you're preparing the honey for packaging or for marketing or for okay. eating or for sale. Okay. Um, once you get to this stage, then we want to cover it up so that in the end, it looks kind of like this and doesn't leak all over your hands when right. you're walking around with it. Yeah. Um, so put a little lid on the bottom. Okay. Take one lid for the bottom. All right. One lid for the bottom. And then you usually put a clear lid on the top, but we're not going to cover yours up because instead we're going to make you try to taste it. Do I get so, just like this? Just like that. What you're going to do, it's like candy. You know, you just, just take the spoon, dig down inside there. It's like this? Yeah, just dig in. Oh. It's just pure raw honey, just the way the bees made it. Nothing else has been done to it. You see that? Wax and everything? Wax and everything. You're going to have to take the wax, chomp it down. Yeah. <laughs> is he doing okay? Yeah. 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 So this is this. You can't get honey any fresher or any pure because it hasn't been. Nothing's been done to it. it. Hasn't been squeezed or pushed into bottles or anything. It's just the way the bees made it. About a week ago, this would have been in a hive of bees. Now, now Glenn was saying that he heard that honey is actually <laughs> bee puke. Is that true? Well, some people think that it's just about as much uh, bee puke as, as milk is cow puke. I mean, mm. the bees have a, a special little tube in their in their mouth, mm -hmm. and it sucks up the nectar out of the flower. Mm -hmm. They put that into their little honey tank. Mm -hmm. Then they fly back to the hive mm -hmm. and they push it back out through that little tube out of the honey tank and into the cells. Now when it's in the cells, it's still nectar. It's not quite honey yet. It's really watery. It's, it's kind of, you wouldn't want to eat it at that point. So that it sets in the hive for about a week or so and it dries out um, just by setting in the hive. And once it becomes dry, it concentrates the sugar in there mm -hmm. and it becomes the stuff that you're eating a lot of right now. Now I got like <laughs> wax in my mouth, right? No, I'm yeah. just, it's important that I test this. It's strictly yeah. for quality control. Yeah. Reason okay, to so the wax in your mouth, now, a lot of people just kind of save big wads of it, and then they make little candles out of it. Is that right? No. <laughs> or I chew this long enough, and I chew on a wick, and then Dave puke is candles. <laughs> and that's how candles are you made. Could, Kids at home, tell that to your teachers at school today. You could do that. You could eat the wax. A lot of people eat, eat and swallow wax. It's good for you. That's, is that? Is, yes, it is. Now, yeah, we have yeah. a number up, 212, and the rest of those numbers. What is right. that number for? 212-0868 uh, is the number that they can leave a message, call, and get in touch with the bee club. So if you don't want to buy honey, you can make your own honey. You can join the bee club. We is love, it fun to do? It's, uh, beekeeping is a great hobby. It's inexpensive. It's something that gets you out, out of doors. And, of course, you're helping the environment in, in everywhere you look at it. You've got a meeting coming up. What's happening next week? Next week on Wednesday night, we have a meeting. So if anyone wants to get in touch and wants to come to the meeting, they're certainly welcome. And you can try, could they try some of this when they're there? They? they can try some honey while they're there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> honey? That's great. Okay, so we got our... Coffee club winners, is it okay if I, well, me, I better not have any mouthful, I'm, I'm just chewing on wax. It's just gum now, folks. This is delicious. Okay, we have our coffee club winners in. Lindsay, it's great to have you. Who did you choose for today's coffee club winner? Don Mathers. And do tell, why, come on in, you guys. Why did you choose Don? 
Um, because he looked like his honey tank was full in the morning. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> if you want to learn, I'm just chewing on some honey wax. It's okay, Donna and Leanne and Danny, thank you guys very much. Uh, Tim Hortons travel mug, Tim Hortons fine ground coffee, and the big breakfast mug. And Lindsay, you're going to sing again for us. Yes. Now, in the near future, where can people keep their eye open to find you? What kind of clubs do you tend to play? Where might you be? Um, I possibly at Mount Royal on the 30th of okay. this month. And the barley mill usually and, and we can look uh, for you there yeah good and you're gonna sing another tune for us right away you bet have you ever chewed on honey wax no i have just now beeswax i guess is what they call that isn't it you we bet. call it honey wax i want what about can and i'll tell you what if you want to try chomping down or you just let us know okay but don't do it before the song because it'll be okay. it'll, it'll gum up the works if you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you guys we're gonna thank some other all our folks here from my max all the great cooks that were just here we're gonna be thanking everybody plus Lindy's going to sing in just a bit, and Jeb will be equally hilarious. Don't go anywhere. It's all coming up in The Big Breakfast.